our playmaker international boxing news. I'm joined by Eddie Hearn after a, a really good night at boxing, actually. Sonny Edwards defending his IBF World Featherweight World Title. What did you make of the performance? I thought it was good. I mean, look, I think if you're a boxing purist, you love it. If you're a casual, after six rounds, you're looking at it and going, this kid's really good. But you want him to go through the gears. You always want someone who's dominating to go on and stop someone. It doesn't always happen in a flyweight division. I thought he was a bit sloppy. I thought he got outworked in a few rounds in there tonight. But it might help him get that fight. You know, I think if you're Jesse Rodriguez or you're Julio Cesar Martinez, you're looking at it and thinking, I fancy that fight. And hopefully they sign on the dotted line. Bam Rodriguez, November's been tied. Where's that likely plan? San in America, Antonio yeah. in the I'd like to do it in America on the West Coast, actually. I feel, you know, I know that making Sonny travel is obviously, you know, in Bam Rodriguez's favour, but I, I wouldn't like to do it in San Antonio. I think we should do that on the West Coast. I think it's a great fight, great, great night of boxing we can create there. And uh, he's ready now. It has to be a unification next week. On to unifications. Nene Hughes, yeah. Ellie Scottney. Is it unification to expose? Yeah, I think so. I think whenever you win a world title in female boxing, you should be looking to unify straight away. So Nina Hughes had her defence now. You've got Ebony Bridges, you've got Luna, you've got Dina Thorsland, those two are fighting. Um, and Ellie Scottney as well should be looking at the other champion straight away. She's good enough and you should just be looking to unify and get in the biggest fights as soon as possible. Also, AJ White. It's been reported that it's close. Can you confirm that? Uh, I mean, close in that both want the fight, but we haven't reached the deal yet. So that's really the next step is getting closer to the number that, that suits everybody. We're not there yet, but hopefully we can be. Would that be a design pay-per-view in the UK? Uh, possibly, possibly. The week after August 19th, we support ourselves Birmingham, is that correct? Yeah, we've got two shows. We've got July 29 and we've got August 19th. So at the moment, July 29 is scheduled for Fabio Wardley and also Cash against Amo Williams and others. August 19th in Birmingham for Galalia Fina next gen, but they could be reversed, but I don't think so, but we'll know in the next 48 hours. So Dake is the feature on that card? Yes, yes. Anyone else at all? A um, couple of new signings as well, uh, and all of our young guns from anywhere around that area, Aaron Bowen, Muhammad Ali, uh, many others off the top of my head, I can't tell you. The Saudi Arabia UAE date, it's been touted September the 2nd, is that, is that true at all? Uh, no, that was the original plan date, but it looks like it will be September 23rd. Perfect. And with regarding that, Ben, we, we've spoken to Tony Sims, he's going in front of the board at the end of this month. Have you got a date at all? No, no. Uh, his team are dealing with UCAD Direct. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. So we, we hope that we can stage that fight in the UK. And um, hopefully that can all get cleared up shortly. My last question, McCaskill, Ryan, how close is Yeah, that? we want that fight. I mean, um, we had a lot of backs and forwards with Rick, Rick Ramos, who, who we love. Um, I think it's the fight to make. You know, Sandy Ryan wants that fight. We want to make that fight. I think you'll see that fight next for both. And last one, I just want to get your opinion on Tyson Fury potentially fighting Jarrell Miller. Is it? Apparently so. Yeah, I mean, I can see, you know, I can see him doing something like that. You know, I mean... What, what do you make of that fight as a whole? Obviously, the, the back and forth, well, not really a back and forth, Jarrell yeah. Miller testing positive. Um, what do you make of Tyson Fury going into that? Do you think that's just run out of options? Yeah, I think he's trying to find someone that can take small money that will give him enough money to get out of bed and do that in an easy fight. And Jarrell Miller might be a kind of guy that, you know, you can you can do that with. But, you know, you, you, you know the, the certain fighters that he won't want to face and he'll say that it's because no one's heard of them and they're not big enough and stuff like that. But basically what that means is it's too much risk for not enough money whenever someone says that. One that's just come to me, Philip Hergovic yeah, versus Dempsey McKean. Yeah, that, yeah, that, could, that could be, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a fight we're looking to make. We made an offer for Dempsey McKean to fight Philip Hergovic. Um, but look, if Tyson Fury is looking for opponent, Philip Hergovic, why not? It's not expensive, you know, and uh, I think it's a good fight. Perfect. Thank you, Ian. Cheers, 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 mate. Okay.